Hey guys, how you doing? So a friend at work loaned me his launch X431 Torque that's expired because I wanted to do a video because I get comments occasionally saying that launch and X tool and Autel and all these that they send out a signal after the expiration date uh, that takes away functionality of the tool. I personally have not experienced that. Now I will tell you that uh, I wouldn't do any kind of updates even if they say that it's free and it updates the tool just to be on the safe side. So if I tap the update tool You can see that we've got, you know, it comes up and it says your subscription is expired. You cannot download, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's got a new app application right here, 149 megabytes in size, and it's got, you know, a bunch of other updates. I would not do any kind of update just to be on the safe side. Uh, just, I can't remember if I, told, if I showed you this is the X431 Torque. This is version 3, 2017 is the year that this particular uh, tool was made. Um, so what we're going to do is I've got this connected to my 2016 uh, GMC Sierra, and we're just going to make sure that it does uh, some some functional test just to show that the bidirectional ability is still there. So I'm going to go back. And we're just going to hit diagnosis just to show you the layout of this tool. It's, it's a little different than the newer launches. So there's the front page. You just swipe over and then there's your additional uh, applications there. And we're just going to hit diagnosis. We'll do an auto detect. And basically all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a, a few... Uh, that'll roll, roll the windows up and down, the wipers, maybe honk the horn or something like that. You know, something just to show that the bi-directional test is still there. Now you can see that this, the software is for GM vehicles, coverage from 2019, or 1991 to 2021. So that's how expired it is. This, currently it's February, 2025. So this is a 2026, uh, this is a 2016 Sierra. So let me get it loaded up here and we'll get started. All right, so I don't think I'm gonna do a full scan. I mean, it's gonna, it'll, it'll scan all the modules. You know what? I, I guess I need to do that just to show you that it will scan all the modules. So I'm gonna hit health report and I'll probably fast forward through this so you don't have to wait for it. It'll probably take a minute or two. Okay, you can see that it detected all the modules that this truck has. They're all in the green. Got a couple codes and a couple modules. Let's see what they are real quick. Control module power circuit. Control module power. The battery on this truck's weak. It, it's literally 14 degrees right now. And uh, I had to put my jump pack on it to start. I don't drive this truck a whole lot. So we're just going to go into the, uh, we'll go into the, Body control module, that's probably where the uh, power windows and locks and stuff are at. There's wipers, there's windows. Let's see what options we got. We're gonna do the passenger window motor. Let me turn the camera here so that you can watch it. Okay, I'm gonna go express down. I guess we'll just go down. We'll go up. So, as you can see, the window worked just fine. Back out of that. Uh, what else we got? Uh. Finger, we would have had door locks. That might be under chassis. I 
We can do wipers. Wiper, we'll do wiper wash. Uh, no, too cold for wash. I've got some water in my jug out there. We will do low. And there you have it. No reason to do high. High works too. So, I mean, we can go into a different module if you want. Let's go into chassis control module. Let me see what's under it. No, that's not what I wanted. Actuation test. All right, trailer brakes, only thing under the chassis control module. So let's go into engine control module. I mean, that's obviously the number one module that you're gonna to want to uh, be able to actuate things. The problem is I don't know what all I'm gonna be able to actuate that you guys are going to uh, be able to hear or see. starter relay I could shut the engine off what's engine speed and throttle throttle sweep throttle position engine speed can I start the engine let me see if I can bump the engine okay I don't know if this is going to bump the engine up or not but you'll be able to see the tachometer we're sitting at about what 600 rpm or so right now I'm going to increase. I'm just tapping the increase button. We'll go to a thousand. Now that's over, isn't it? Let me hit decrease. I want to hit it right at a thousand. That's eleven 1 hundred. That's 950. Good enough. Now I'm going to release control. Should drop back down to regular. So, as you can see, the uh, as long as at, at least as long as you don't install any additional updates after the expiration period, it does retain all the actuation tests, special functions, everything is retained. My Autel has been expired for at least four or five years and I'll use it occasionally and everything works on it. Uh, like I say, if you go over here to the uh, main menu, and I know it's tempting not to update it if it's popping up with an, wanting you to, you know, install an update, but don't do it. Now, if you installed the new app program, that very first one, it may still retain all the functionality uh, up to whatever year it's expired. In this case, the GM software is good up to 2021. If a menu pops up, which it does occasionally, and I don't know how to uh, get it to pop up, But occasionally a big window will pop up right here that says there's a new update. Do you want to download it? And I hit no to that. And the reason is because I don't want to run a risk of installing. Yeah, see right here. New functions available. Upgrade to enjoy. I hit cancel to this because I don't want to risk installing a... Uh, an update and then it does end up taking away functions so as tempted as it is as tempting as it is to click that update don't do it just to be on the safe side in fact what I generally do is I I uh, turn my Wi-Fi off so this the tool itself does not even connect to the internet 
That way it can't check to see if there's any updates. Anyway, that's that's pretty much it for this video. I also did this same thing on our 2007 Jeep Wrangler. All, all the functions work just fine. I did not see anything that did not work as it did uh, as though the tool was still under subscription. So for those guys that say that, you know, after their tool expires, nothing works anymore, they must have did something because I have never experienced that. Now, unfortunately, I can't 100% confirm that X-Tool will continue to work. I'm pretty sure it will. But all my X tools have three year updates and they're all still under subscription. So as soon as one of them expires, I will do a video showing the X tool whether or not it'll continue to work. And I'm sure it will, at least up to the date that the expiration happened on. Anyway, we're done. This was a launch X431 Torque. The current software on this, you can see up here in the upper left, it was 7.01.018. And as I just showed, the, all the functions still work. Anyway, we're done. You guys take care, and we'll see you.